Okay, well here she is. The Periscope has the electronics kit installed now. Uh, it's, uh, if you're a newbie at electronics or an amateur uh, as I am, it's a bit of a beast. Uh, the guys that designed this were very receptive to questions. Uh, that's the nice thing about this R2D2 Builders Group. If you've got questions, there's usually a lot of support. Uh, you can see i got the uh, dome plate just kind of hanging here with uh, good old gravity. There are several modes that uh, this thing can do, and if you'd like, I'll go through a few of them. Uh, the default one is this guy right here. And this is basically what's called a full cycle. It's going to wander through and uh, it's going to do a uh, random LED pattern. Now the next one, let's see, let's go ahead and get my uh, little ground wire here for Dagobah. Dagobah uses the little green wire here. And Dagobah is supposed to be the most screen accurate uh, of the bunch. So it'll look just like uh, uh, what we're seeing in The Empire Strikes Back. And let's cross a few wires here and grab a 9 volt battery and make that happen here. So that's supposed to uh, be screen accurate to the movie. And let's see. The next one uh, is supposed to be the, uh, it's called the Obi Wan. So let's see how that looks. Okay, just spin these guys up. This would be much easier if I had a rotary switch or something, but uh, for right now, we'll just see how uh, this takes. And you can see the top lights are kind of zinging back and forth here. That's called the Obi Wan. And then we have another one where we have the, let's see, we have green, yellow, and ground. And what that's supposed to be, is supposed to be the Yoda mode. I haven't seen this one yet, so this should be educational for all of us. And let's ground those guys out. Okay, that makes sense. It's rather, rather green. <laughs> it's very cool. Okay, now let's do what this next one is called the Sith. And let's take a look at this one. Ah, okay, just all reds. Okay, now let's add uh, green to the party here. This is supposed to be our searchlight. And I suspect this is going to be fairly bright based on that description. And there it goes. That seems like an accurate. Very good. And let's, this is other one that's called Sparkle. Let's see what Sparkle looks like. The nice thing about having all these wires run from the back is it's a little tough to make them all fit, but uh, at least we have the option of trying these versus having uh, soldered and uh, been stuck with just one until we took it apart. Oh, well that's, uh, that's pretty darn special. <laughs> okay, and then the last one, which is going to be uh, all three wires plus ground is called Excite. So I imagine after just seeing what we just saw, uh, this is going to look somewhat like the 4th of July. So let's do that. And LED. How about that? So there she is. Like I said, just using a 9 volt battery and uh, uh, like I said, what I've just been doing is uh, wrapping up the wires. I have to go to ground and uh, you know, your positive lead. And uh, we'll work on dressing this up so it's a little bit more functional, but uh, that's pretty slick.